Hey there YouTube, welcome to the ACH Automotive channel. Today we are working on our 2005 Mazda 6. Um, with all the craziness going on in the world today, we I, I opted to bring the car back to my shop. I towed it home um, the other day. I rented a U-Haul trailer and decided it was a better idea uh, to drag it home to my shop so I could continue working on it instead of having the car out of state where it resided. Um, so that is, Kinda originally the plan was to drive it home, you know, fix it and drive it home. But with all the stuff going on, I decided that it was easier to transport it and continue working on it here in my shop. So that's why the videos have been a little laxed lately. Um, today what we're doing, not really doing any kind of repairs on it. I am teaching myself how to use my Autel scope and my OBD Wiz application. And what we're going to do, when you put the key in the ignition with this car, the radiator fans come on at full speed. And sometimes they just, when it's running, they just come on at full speed. And they're very, very loud. Now, I know the control module is bad based on some of the other diagnostics uh, videos and stuff that I've watched. And uh, there's plenty of forum threads. It's a very common issue on this car. Um, I bought the whole package from Tasca Ford uh, for about, I think it was $211 shipped. Two brand new fans, brand new control module. The control module, I think, was 100 bucks by itself. So I got the whole package. Uh, the, the package deal was like $167, plus it was tax and shipping. So it came to like 211, I think is what the final bill was. What we're gonna do, I am gonna pull this air box out of the way so we can get onto the wire or the connector uh, coming out of the control module and back probe it. And I've got some papers here we can take a look at. Fortunately, the car is kind of wet, but I'll do my best here. So what we need to look at is we need to get onto this connector here. So there's three connectors on this control module. These connectors both go to one to each fan. There are two fans on it. And this is your uh, control. So this wire 1A, which is a red wire, comes from the uh, fan relay here. And then 1C is a ground. And 1B is the actual signal from the PCM. Now, looking at our all data stuff here, they want you to be on uh, pin 69 on the PCM, which should be this 1B. We're gonna, pin, we're gonna back probe it out here and make sure that I've got a good signal coming from the PCM. And based on our oscilloscope signal, we should see a pattern like this. The oscilloscope should be set at two volts uh, div on the, on, on the Y axis and 0.2 milliseconds div on the X axis. And, and it should be a DC range. Additionally, we've got our, additionally, I've got my Surface Pro in there with my, um, OBD, two, uh, OBD Link MX Plus dongle, and it's running OBD Wiz. So we can also look at the uh, fan duty cycles to see when the uh, PCM actually commands the fan relay, uh, excuse me, the fan control module to come on and off. And we want to look at the signal at that time. If the signal coming out of the PCM is correct and matches what we have in our all data, and the fans still come on at random, we know the PCM is okay and that we've and we've verified that the fan control module is bad. So let me get this air box out. It's actually kind of really chilly out here. So let me get this out real quick. Let me get the scope set up and the pins back probe and we'll take a look. Working on the Mazda, putting this video together uh, for you guys. And I'm trying to figure out, we're, we're gonna work on putting the uh, or diagnosing the radiator control fan module. Uh, I know it's bad. I have a brand new one, but I'm trying to teach myself how to use some of the tools that I have bought here. And one of the products that I've purchased is OBD Wiz, and it's a pretty decent uh, application. I've been fairly happy with it. This is not a sponsored video at all. Uh, it came with my OBD uh, Link MX dongle, which you've seen in some of my alpha OBD videos. And I purchased the professional add-on and the Mazda add-on. And as I've gone through this, I don't see all the uh, PIDs and stuff that this Mazda add-on says it's supposed to come with. I mean, this is a ton of, a ton of, uh, this isn't even the full list. Um, it's supposed to do the control, uh, cooling fan. Here we go, right here. 
enhanced mod. I mean, look at all these PIDs. So this is a this is a pretty elaborate piece of software. Uh, what I just want to put in here, if you don't see your see the PIDs that you're looking for, because I mean, if you go into configure for PID values, uh, let's go back to advance. I mean, there is not a lot in here compared to what should be in here for the Mazda. These are all basic, uh, very basic, uh, you know, standard PIDs. So what you need to do to get this to come in is you need to go to help in OBD Wiz and you need to go to license and I'll blur my license out and you can see it says license features, Mazda enhanced diagnostic diagnostics all model years available yes downloaded no and you can see professional add-on is available so what we need to do is hit the download options uh, all right we've got to disconnect from our ecu here so let's go to connection disconnect should be good help license download features and it's downloading Yeah, I don't I mean, hopefully I'll be able to blur that out on the computer. Now you see it says downloaded. Yes. Let's click OK. And now, you know what, let's close out of OBD Wiz here. Yes, let's exit. Minimize that. Open up OBD Wiz again. We'll connect. Aha, okay, here we go. This don't don't normally get this. Um, we'll have to figure out where. I'm going to guess it's probably network A. Click OK. Yep, that's fine. And it's going to load the list. Now you can see I've got all my, should have all my, uh, yep, that's fine. I've got tons of PIDs in here now, I think, hopefully. There we go. Didn't have all these before. Cool. So now if I go over to diagnostics, I think that's fine. Probably the powertrain control module. That's where the uh, fan control module talks to. So we'll click OK. And let's go to, let's see if we can see PID values. Configure. Let's go back to advanced mode here. All right, well, oops, stop that. Hold on. Mazda tab. There we go. Let's see if we can search. Fan duty cycle, here we go. Click OK. I don't know if you can hear the fans. Oh, maybe that was a car going by. Um, the car is not running right now, but this should be when the ECU or the PCM calls for the cooling fan to be on this, uh, you should see, you should see values in here. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to use the scope and we're going to look at the signal coming from the PCM, um, and see what that looks like with our engine running. It's not up to temperature yet. <clears throat> I just, uh, I just started it up a few minutes ago here. Uh, but if you turn your AC on here, hold on, you should hear the fan kick in and this oops, might take a second. I just had it because it was off camera. Like I said, the car is not up to temperature yet. So, well, I mean, you can see, you can see I had it there. This is the percentage of how much the fans are, are running, I believe is what that duty cycle means. So that's how you add these PIDs to OBD Wiz. And then, like I said, we're gonna, I think the fan, there we go. Yep, fans just kicked on, you can see. So that's with the AC on. The car is not fully up to temperature yet. And it just commanded them off. Let's open up our OBD Wiz down here. Okay, what we're looking for is this signal to look kind of like that when this PID here, this variable fan duty cycle, comes on. So you can see there is some chatter on the line right now. I don't know if that's because 
I haven't I don't have it set up right um, but when the PCM does call for it there you go the fan is on that looks pretty close to what we are looking to see uh, out of out of the system here so now it's off and the fans are still running so the PCM is not calling for uh, fan right now but the fans are still running but when it does call for the PCM or when the PCM does call for uh, the fans to run you can see that the signal does look pretty close to where it's supposed to be there we go fans are commanded on now they're off uh, I am hoping that this is the uh, I'm, I'm still hoping this is the fan control module that's the problem. I'm pretty confident it is based on what I read. Um, I'm not totally confident at my diagnostic skills yet. This is, uh, this is the first, not the first time I've used the scope. I tried, it, I tried it out on our O2 sensor project, but this is largely new to me for uh, you know what we're doing here. And you can hear in the background, hopefully, that the fans have come on quite high. So we're going to shut the car off. I'll show you how I have the scope hooked up just for reference and uh, you know we'll go from there. The next video will be on how to replace the radiator uh, fan and control module. We're going to replace the whole assembly since those fans sound uh, like they got a lot of vibration and stuff in them. The car's got 200,000 miles on it. We're replacing the whole assembly. I don't want any overheating issues. Doesn't overheat at the moment, but they are quite loud. So, um, so stay tuned for more videos on our Mazda. And for those of you asking about the Mustang project, uh, it's on hold at the moment. I have the 415 and all the cleaning supplies to do up above the gas tank. Uh, unfortunately, it's been rather cold here, so uh, I've got to wait for the I've got to wait for a warm day to get all that done. So that'll be coming real soon, I promise. All right, we have we have our lead from our scope here. I have it connected to a known good ground on the battery, and you can see I've got it back probed into the red black wire, which is the uh, center wire on the connector down here and it's connected to channel A on the scope. And that is how I had it programmed on my Surface tablet. And that's what that's how we were connecting. It's a pretty pretty easy to connect uh, for this setup. This is a pretty good one to kind of practice on and, and uh, learn on, which is which is ultimately what my goal is, is to learn how to use one of these scopes. Um, I think a Pico scope from the research that I've done has a lot more, uh, I think it's a lot more user friendly. Uh, I've never used a scope, so this is it's a lot of manual settings on it from what I can see versus the Pico scope, but obviously the Pico scope is significantly more money than the Autel MP408 is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's purely just a diagnostic video today, taking a look at the car, kind of learning the scope a little bit. Um, so pretty pretty this will be a pretty short video so guys thank you for watching this video if you like what you see here in the video please like and subscribe below if there's something you want to know about this project or some of the other projects on the channel leave me a comment below um, if you're interested in picking up either the obd link mx plus dongle or the autel mp408 scope that we're using here in this video i'll leave some uh, amazon affiliate links down in the description if uh, you know you don't mind uh, purchasing through those links it gives the channel some extra uh, amazon gift cards to uh, buy more tools and parts for the channel and uh, you know i'd really appreciate it doesn't cost me anything doesn't cost you anything just helps us out here and uh, if you like like i said if you like the videos please like and subscribe below share on facebook and YouTube, etc. It helps the channel out. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.